Hello YouTube, welcome to another PMD tutorial, and for this one, um, it will be to, this is going to sound strange, but to cut chunks off of, um, your model, and this is, back here for example, let's say you, you find a piece of clothing you, you like, but you can't get to fit on your model no matter what you try doing, what you can do is actually cut, for example, like, it would be, you know, this chunk of the model off. And it doesn't mess up your model. It works completely fine. So how to do this, you um, click on the D up here. Get um, display box open. Come down here. Click on the VR. Um, come up here. Click on the V. This comes up. And click on the MA. And if you want... You can also click on the S. Um, it's a subscreen. It just helps. Um, so what I'm about to say next is very important, and I'll probably say it about 90 times. So please pay attention. Is uh, I'll be talking, and the bones are shown by the little like blue, blue and um, orange uh, dots and lines. And if you if you're cutting chunks off, and if that's still selected you will ruin your model and you have to start all over because it will completely mess everything up. So, how you get the bones off, you ask? Well, come to your display box and down here, where it says B-O-N, click on it, and then it'll go away. Then, for up here, make sure everything is unselected but the V, especially the V because that's the bones. So you need to double check, triple, quadruple check to make sure the bones are not selected because you, you really, it'll, it'll mess you up severely if it's, if they're not, if they are selected. So again, B-O-N, make sure it's unselected and make sure the B is not selected up here. So after you've done that, base it'll be this top chunk, you need to find um, where that uh, where the body part is not you don't do the clothing you find the body part so you click through and uh, find the part that all that uh, selects that part an example this for me it's MA8 and it doesn't matter if it selects the whole body as long as it selects a chunk that you need to get off so after you find it and you fit it to how you want and everything you um, you want to left click drag and select the whole chunk. Make sure you don't get other parts because it will mess it up. Um, select the whole chunk that you need. In this case, it's about it's around here and make it turn orange. After you've done that, come to the thing you've clicked over here, right click it, and then comes the third one from the top. It's a bunch of Japanese and S and Control S. You click that. And then this box will come up, you click yes. All that does is it makes um, that part that you selected have its own um, have its own thing to select and manipulate and whatnot. So after the thing you selected, they'll say an NW, that's what you want. You select that, make sure it's selected, and you will right click it and go to the third one from the bottom. It's a bunch of Japanese, a P, then control P. Click it, and this is to delete it. This will come up. You click yes. And if you'll see, and this one, and in this one, it's gone. And you're like, oh wow, that looks real. Yeah, sweet. If you look underneath, if you can kind of see a little bit, um, it is gone. I don't, I don't know how really how well you can see that, but if you look, if you look at your model, you can see that that act, that chunk of the chunk that you cut off is completely gone. It's not even on your model anymore. Which that's good, that's what you want. So after you've done that, you then want to um, you then want to save it. And for yeah, for this I'm I'm not gonna uh, put any pants on it pants on her for this, but save it and then to test it, of course, open up we can make a dance. And I'm trying to hurry up and wait for some PMD to 
close up here. Okay, here's your MMB. Load up your model, and then put. You can either put. Well, putting a motion would be the the um, the best thing to do. So load up your model, and when she comes up, you you can put a, a pose on her too, but uh, putting putting a motion on putting a motion on her or him is um, a lot better of an idea because you can actually see you know how it works. Your model will still move exactly the same. Yeah, my stupid MMD would hurry up and stop. Okay, there we go. So your model's up. As you can see, mine looks really funny because I don't, she doesn't have um, all the same... I saved it in a different file, so she doesn't have the same... Um, like the same texture files. So after you get her up, go to file, go to motion data, and you can get up any motion data you want. And I'm, I'm just clicking on a random one. This is like the only one I have on my computer right now. So, we gotta hurry up and wait. So, whenever this loads, you'll see. Oh, I, I can talk about really quick the next video. Um, the next PMB tutorial will be. Um, it will be on bones. A bunch of people have asked me about that, so if any of the people that asked me about it watch this, a bone video will finally be made. And I'll say right now, bones, they're very, very difficult, and like, honestly, they're really a pain to mess with, but some, sometimes, sometimes you just have to mess with the bones. Some stuff that can happen with the bones is it can, like, make your model just move really funny. Okay, so it's on. Push play, and as you can see, she's she's moving completely fine. It's not like you even cut the chunk of her off. So yep, that's really all. That's all there is to it. And if you're having any trouble, just post a comment. And if you'd like, you know, to request anything. Um, go ahead, go ahead and request something, because I can, um, help with really pretty, pretty much anything you're needing help with. So, I hope this video helped, and stay tuned for the next PMD tutorial.